Good morning. Welcome back to the kitchen and meal prep day. Today we're making two different kinds of muffins. Chocolate chip muffins. The kids are very excited about those. We're going to make some morning glory muffins. We're making tea for supper tonight. We're also going to go ahead and get some more prep done for supper. We're making the chicken pot pies. So I'm going to go ahead and get the carrots and onions and all that chopped up and ready for that later. We're going to go ahead and take all the produce in that other refrigerator and bring it in here and get it chopped up, diced up, whatever needs to be done. We're going to go ahead and get it prepped and ready and put in here that way when I get groceries tomorrow everything's already ready in there for me to put the fresh produce in that one we're gonna make some pepperoni wraps for snacks or lunch whatever most of the time if I prep these and put them in the refrigerator the kids eat them for snacks so we're gonna make those and by the time we finish all that it should be almost lunch time it's all finished oh my goodness look at that it's ready to go all right First, we're going to make the chocolate chip muffins because that's what they are most excited about. Do y'all want them to be mini or regular sized? Um, mini? They like the minis. Okay. Oh, you, you found a chocolate chip. You want to taste test it? There you go. There's some for Sissy to try. In here, we need two cups of all-purpose flour. This little Pioneer Woman set, you know, with the long handles, came with a two-cup measuring scoop, and I love that thing because most of the time, recipes call for two cups of all-purpose flour. <laughs> But the two cup one won't fit in my little container, so I'm eventually going to switch my all-purpose flour to a bigger one that my two cup measuring cup can fit in. Mm -hmm. You do the flour. There's one. Here's Sissy. Okay, sugar. Two thirds of a cup of sugar. Now we need a teaspoon of baking powder. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then half a teaspoon of salt. We go mix it, Mama, mm -hmm. on the spoon. You gonna mix it with that spoon? Okay, you can go ahead and start mixing it around. Sissy's putting in the salt, and then we need two thirds of a cup of milk. Okay. And half a cup of melted butter. Hmm. We're gonna crack the eggs in here first, then we'll put them in there. Yes, there we go, good job. <laughs> this is why we do his separate. Yeah, you can do yours in there. I did it. Here, let's wash your hands. One, two, three. Did you pour your egg in? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sissy's gonna put in the melted butter. Okay, Manly's gonna put in the chocolate chips. Okay. That's all. That's all. Okay, where is the, you already got the muffin tin spray? Okay, next up is the Morning Glory Muffins. We're gonna need some grated zucchini for this, so what I'm gonna do is just chop it up in the little mini food chopper here. Now, I'm just cutting the ends off of the zucchini and washing it, I didn't take the peel off. Maybe, oops, come here zucchini. Maybe just half of one more will probably be enough. Now, you just press this down over here. Okay. Now, we'll sit this over here. What we need to do with this is I have a clean towel and we're just gonna take the zucchini and put it here into the middle of the towel because we have to wring it out and get as much moisture out of it as we can. Now, this recipe also calls for shredded coconut, but kids don't love the texture of coconut, so I'm gonna leave that out, but we're gonna put in just a little bit of cream of coconut. <laughs> to give it a little bit of that coconut flavor without the flakes. Okay, so now we're just gonna hold this over the sink and wring it out. It's already starting to release the moisture. There we go. All right, zucchini is ready. We need two and one fourths of a cup of all-purpose flour this time. Three fourths of a cup of sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in while Sissy's finishing up the flour. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon two teaspoons of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. We also need grated carrots, so I'm just gonna hook the food chopper back up and do the carrots real quick. I forgot about those, I should've just left it out. Okay. Let's 
let's see now we need some nuts you can do walnuts whatever kind you want to do I think we have walnuts so that's what we'll use we need about a half a cup Okay, when you finish that, you can sit that bowl over to the side and we're gonna mix the wet ingredients up in a separate bowl. Okay, the big chocolate chip muffins, I'm just gonna brown them on the top a little bit and they are ready to come out. Let me set me a timer. Sissy's putting our liners in for the Morning Glory muffins. We'll get those in the oven. Then we'll clean up all of this muffin mess before we move on to the pepperoni wraps and the fruit prep. everything else laid out now and the containers that we're going to put everything in we've got peppers cucumbers carrots and you know what i think i might need another little bag of carrots i don't think that's going to be enough for the chicken pot pies we have celery cantaloupe yellow squash and then the stuff for the pepperoni wraps oh and some kiwi back there and i'm going to make some cold brew so that i can have it in the morning with some of the pumpkin munchkin dunkin coffee cream that's a lot of ends pumpkin munchkin dunkin <laughs> We're gonna make that, so we'll have that ready for in the morning. Okay, so the carrots and onions are ready. I just put them in the same container because we're gonna be using them for supper tonight. Next, we'll do the celery. celery done cucumbers done now we're working on the peppers these are going to be for some breakfast burritos one morning this week so i'm going to go ahead and get them diced up we have a red bell pepper yellow bell pepper and then we had a few of these mini sweet peppers left so we're going to go ahead and dice those up too and i'm not worried about the seeds because none of these are spicy so we're just gonna dice them up seeds and all what y'all playing oh you're doing a secret game they're trying to find things that'll stick to a magnet Jonah has. 
Apparently it's a secret. <laughs> so after we finish the peppers, we just have the squash, kiwi and cantaloupe. I still don't know for sure what I'm gonna do with the squash. I'm thinking squash casserole, but I might put it into another recipe. I'm not sure, but we're gonna go ahead and get it washed up and sliced up, that way it's ready. Mm -hmm. 